Gliffy is one of the most popular flowchart creators out there, but have you tried making a swim lane diagram yet? Swim lane diagrams are a type of flowchart that uses extra formatting to improve role clarity and clearly designate who completes a task in a process. They're also called functional band or multi-column flowcharts because of the bands or columns that get layered onto a traditional flow diagram. Swim lane diagrams can show up in a column format like this one, which is this vertical column-based design, or in this one, you can see a horizontal design where each row is a different person's role in the process. Now, while you might think adding more to a traditional flowchart just complicates things, the swim lane format actually helps untangle a complicated process. Here's what this process might look like without that diagram. And maybe you'd have this down here. Maybe you would stretch it out a little bit more so that things looked more like this. And you'd have to clearly label who begins making order, the kitchen begins making the order. So your diagram would end up with more text than it does when you use that simple swim lane version. It also helps you explain which processes can take place concurrently. So the store owner in this case is able to take the order, run your credit card, etc., all while the kitchen begins making the order. In this example, as long as they both know the concept, the designer and the writer can work on this social media post at the same time. For this reason, swim lane diagrams are great whether you need to show that people in different roles or different departments can complete work together, and that some items are dependent on the other in order for completion. So in this case, the delivery driver can't be triggered to deliver the pizza until and unless the customer says they want delivery. Swim lanes like these are commonly used in addition to a basic flowchart, but there are some diagramming standards, and you can think of these standards like their own mini languages that lean on swim lanes. One example of this would be BPMN, which stands for Business Process Model and Notation. So next time you're diagramming a process that involves lots of people pitching in to get it done, or seems a little too complicated for your project, consider adding a swim lane diagram. You can learn how to make a swim lane diagram with our video tutorial linked in the upper right, or by visiting the blog post linked in this video description. Happy diagramming!